Welcome to Talk is Cheap. On this show, we talk about a lot of different things. Some things that can be proven, other things that are just, you know, maybe it exists or whatever. But stuff that's been hitting the market, I am real excited about. We got a Facebook page on the K2D4 network. And I want to give a shout out to Sean Dennis. If you're not uh, liking our Facebook page, please go there and like the K2D4 network page because this is where I'll post articles. I encourage other people viewers to post articles on there and he posted an article he says this is what's being forwarded by the australian media and they're talking about anti-aging and it's just a few years away so they're already like acclimating the public to getting this stuff released because we know they've been doing this stuff for a little while and you know william this kind of uh collaborates with what william Tompkins said about this stuff going to be released in a couple years but as we go through the article it's going to be a little longer than two years, but but you can already start to see the process of this starting to unveil. And you know they can't give the public something right away. Like here you go, here's anti-aging. No, they got to gradually do it and bring this stuff out. They've been testing this now for a little while. They've been testing it on rats, and they say they're going to begin human trials. But guess what? I found in these articles that they've already been doing human trials because you can you can cross check the dates, and it's oh that's been a little while. And so NMN. Where I got my, so the NAD, so NAD plus, I got, I got this written down here. So NAD plus is what your cells are, but, but in the booster they're talking about, the booster is NMN, which is, if I don't butcher this, I'm sure somebody's going to want to correct me in the comments. Can we get a shot of this here? Nicotimid, <laughs> nicotimide mononuclide. Nicotimide mononuclide. And I know somebody's going to correct me on that because that's not even right. I'm just fucking pulling out of my ass here. But that's NMN, which we're just going to call it for ease of use here, is basically what they're constructing here. Now, this says they were testing it in mice. The cell, and when they gave it to him, they said the cells of the mice were indistinguishable from the young mice after just one week of treatment. Holy shit, folks. If this is going this far, wait until, you know, this takes off for humans. And it's like, you kind of think we're so used to the old programming where it's, you know, the whole system's against us. But if we can get some great people to release this stuff, yeah, this is going to transform humanity. NASA has a in big interest in this, too, because if you believe how they travel, it will take them four years to get to Mars. So they're very interested in this stuff because it will help their astronauts block that radiation that you get in space. And they say time you get to Mars, you know, 5% of your cells will be destroyed. And that's basically 100% chance of cancer. So they're interested in that to keep them alive but I, this is all part of the slow disclosing. We know it's all bullshit. We know NASA's bullshit. Secret space program exists, and now they're just starting to roll this stuff out to the public slowly. This is part of the slow disclosure that they've been talking about. Very slow, but in a nice spoon-fed way so the public can handle it. Now this dude right here. Dr. Lindsay Wu. The study showed multiple aged mice given the vitamin lived 20% longer and were able to run faster. This is the closest we are to a safe and effective anti-aging drug that's perhaps only three to five years away from being in the market if the trials go well, says joint researcher Dr. Lindsay Wu from the, from the university NSW. So right there, part of the slow disclosure, hey, we want to start bringing this stuff out. We're going to test it. Which is funny because this article is from March 22nd, 2017. And they say, oh, we're going to start testing it in six months on humans. But when I looked at this other article, which actually even talked about Corey Good, 
Corey Good, Randy Kramer, William Tompkins, and Michael Relfi are secret space, program, secret space program insiders and whistleblowers who have disclosed the existence of age regression technology. When you look at that article, this one right here, published on April 18th, 2016. Rejuvenation age reversal is real and is currently being tested on humans. Last year it was admitted. And now I got this article from this year, last month, saying that they're going to begin trials. So this stuff has been going on. You know it's been going on, like in the 50s, 60s, if not earlier. We've discovered genes that control how the body fights against aging. And these genes, if you turn them on in just the right way, they can have a very powerful effects, even age reverse. Wow. At least in mice so far, even though this article just stated that they were already testing it on humans last year. We fed them a molecule that's called NMN, and this reversed aging completely within just a few weeks of treatment in the, in the muscles, and now we're looking to reverse all aspects of aging if possible. So they go on to say that this is basically going to be as important as getting your antibiotics. You know, you'll go to this, uh, wherever they might do this, get you a pill, give it to you, and, you know, take that just for aging. And some people are going to bitch about this and say, hey, you can't play God. I think this is good as long as there's no side effects. I don't think there's going to be any side effects because as I've seen, there's a gentleman here that I was talking about earlier, Dr. Wu, Dr. Lindsey Wu, he's age 33, but he says he's been taking the vitamin pill for a whole year already. A whole year he's been taking this. I'm using it. I'm not supposed to be taking it, but I feel just fine. There are no side effects, he said. He takes it out of intellectual curiosity. So he's curious. As I'm curious, and I'm sure you're curious, you know, what the hell's going on? Take it. What's, what's really interesting, though, I try to look for more information on, you know, is he seeing, like, is he feeling lighter? Is he feeling younger? You know, is he feeling more rejuvenated? I couldn't find anything on that. And if anybody has anything on that, just please put it in the link below and share that. That's Dr. Lindsay Wu from the University NSW. So I think part of the process of how this is going to be rolled out, what they're going to have it under uh, listed as, is like they can't sell a drug saying it's anti-aging or uh, rejuvenation, if you will. They can't sell that. It's got to it's got to be something for like uh, helping cure something, which would be like what they're talking about in the article is if somebody had uh, cancer and they got rid of it, this would help overcome the terrible side effects of cancer, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy. So after they, you know, go through that bullshit that I think we all know is not help, does not really help people at all, it destroys everything, they would use this to build the cells back up. And they say it's also been found to treat type 2 diabetes and restore vision following eye damage in animals. Mice given NMN gained less weight with aging even when they consumed more food, perhaps because their boosted metabolism used more energy. So there it will also help, you know, keep you in the right shape. The drug will be trialed on humans later in the year and could be marketed in three years. So yeah, they're going to roll this out slowly. Don't want to give you too much, folks. Authorities don't recognize aging as a disease. Even though you lose memory, you lose movement, and it gives you cancer. In order to get improved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, Australia's Therapeutic Goods Administration, NMN, will have to be registered to treat a recognized disease like side effects of radiation. So very straightforward. All your cells have NAD plus to rebuild them when they break down. If you can add a booster, which is what that MN NMN is, boost it up, it'll help rebuild your cells and bring reverse aging. And 
Another issue that this would be great for is, of course, you're exposed to radiation when you're on planes. And I heard, I think on Cosmic Disclosure, it was that actually there's more exposure now than there used to be. So basically you're getting more chest x-rays every time. So this would help with that, obviously. Again, right here, it says the human trials will begin this year at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. So they're not saying they got to have all these trials or whatever. Not saying that they have tested this stuff before, even though you know damn well they have. They've had this stuff for a while, and now they just want to disclose it slowly. So that brings me back to William Tompkins. Now, William Tompkins originally said when you take these pills, basically he said they look like aspirins if you take one of them, and it'll reverse the men back to age 30 and the women to age 22. And I think that's kind of interesting in itself because when you look at SMV, sexual market value, men are basically at their prime from like it starts going up at 30 and then the peak is at 38 because men are more confident have more resources at that time and that's a whole nother discussion but that's when we are in our prime and women of course at 22 because that's when they're most likely in their fertile stage for you know having kids and when it's they're going to be less problems with that so I thought that was real interesting itself when it's talked about you take this pill and it takes you back to those ages. It's like, wow, that's kind of like what I've researched when, you know, our bodies are in our prime. William Tompkins himself said that this stuff was going on since the late 60s, early 70s. So we're talking about like 47 years that this has been in that secret project. And now we're finally getting there, finally getting there. It's still going to take three, five years, whatever, how long this takes. But at least we're on the right path, folks. And one thing that kind of struck me that was interesting, too, everybody says, oh, you know, you get older. Um, my grandma's actually in a nursing home right now, and I kind of talked to her a little bit about, you know, that this pill was coming out and stuff. And she says, oh, I don't know if I would want to reverse back. My brain can't think. Well, William Tompkins says that when you take this, your brain capacity is actually gets 300% increase. So, and sometimes up to a thousand. So think about that. So not only do you get a better, you know, vessel for yourself, you're going to have increased brain capacity. And when I think about it, it's like, holy shit, you'll actually be able to, you know, live your life. Cause you know, when you start getting older, you start retaining, you know, you learned a lot of things and how things work. And if you're going to get older and be able to live longer, think of all the wisdom you you retain. That's going to be freaking amazing. So I think this is a good thing. And, you know, some people are going to say, oh, you're playing God. You know, you shouldn't be doing that. I think this is all part of the step of the evolution. And I don't know about you, but I sure as hell want to live longer so I can see you know, outer space. I'm ready to see Mars. I want to see the backside of the moon. This, we should be doing this now, but it's, you know, if we're going to have this slow fucking disclosure, it's going to take a hundred fucking years. You know, I'm going to get, yeah, I'm 30 now. So, I mean, I need some extension to make it another hundred years. So, so touching back on William Tompkins real quick, he said you would take four aspirin like pills over a six month period of time. So you just, you know, take one, and then, like, every other month, he so says, yeah, then you would revert back to, you know, for men, like, 29 in less than three months. Others takes five to six months. So that's still a relatively short time. And like I said, in this article, that guy was taking it. I couldn't find any information on, you know, does he feel younger? He was only 33, so, I mean, he's only be going back, you know, four years or whatever not very much and maybe that's just the way it is maybe you can't go back any younger it's probably like you said just it takes you to your when you're in your prime when everything's optimal and that's i already broke that down so all in all very interesting these articles will be in the description below if you have anything else to add please add it in the comments like I said, like us on Facebook. I'll put that link down below as well. And like, you know, if you find something, I encourage you, 
post it to the Facebook page. Let's keep a discussion going because this is like great that we're all getting involved with this. And if you want to talk to me directly, you can email me k2d4network at gmail.com. And you can also tweet me at k2d4network. And I also tweet articles, interesting things, you know, what's on my mind. So I think we're in for some definitely some good times coming our way. You can kind of start to see the veil starting to break a little bit. Things get a little rocky sometimes. Things get a little, you know, is that the right thing to do? And it's like mainstream media has us all in this bind emotional blockage bullshit. But I think we're definitely on the right track. And the future is looking good.